So hey, this is Wendy's husband, Harry, and you know she had her operation today, so she's gonna be on a soup diet for a day or two after surgery. So I went out and bought her some soups. Now these are um, called Kettle and Fire. We've never had them before. They're kind of keto. Um, they're close, but you know, we're gonna try them out. So she's gonna do a little try out on all of these. I already started making her one of them. Um, this first one, spicy uh, cauliflower, looks really good. Um, it's, uh, they all have bone broth, chicken bone broth. And um, the second one here is tomato soup. And everybody loves tomato soup, at least, well, I like tomato soup a whole lot. I know she does too. And then the next one is broccoli cheddar. And the one I'm making right now, which is the butternut squash. So she's going to do a taste test. So she's probably going to do this one now because <laughs> we opened it up. So let's see how it goes. Okay, so I just poured this butternut squash uh, in ch chicken bone broth into the pan here. So she hasn't had any fat today or anything, like, you know, so she wanted me to put this butter in here. this in here. That looks really good. It smells good too. Well, let's see how she likes it. So Harry was kind enough to go to Whole Foods today and get me some kettle and fire soup because they said I could have soup and I've been on pure liquids and haven't had any so I've been drinking a bone broth and eating jello um, for lunch or for I guess it's lunch first meal anyway so he made me some butternut squash it's kind of dark you know yeah maybe because of the bone broth and I haven't had any fats today, and I haven't had any salt today, and they gave me, I don't know how many IV bags full of fluid, so, you know, I'm peeing like a racehorse. Anyway, um, I'm going to taste this and see if I can keep it down. They did do one thing. Here, I'll show you. They put a dot on my ear, but they said don't touch it, and I'm worried about Sally. This is to make it so that I'm not queasy. Yeah, she put um, a band-aid over it. Uh, I put a band-aid over it, but you know, they do EKG. They need to take these stupid things off. You always find them somewhere. So I just found these two puppies, and I'm gonna... They're presents from the hospital. Yeah, presents from the... I spent a lot of money for those. Mm -hmm. So let me have a little taste of this and see what it tastes like. It's good. The butter really tastes buttery. Yeah, my, butter helped, I think. My taste has been off since surgery because my throat is so sore from everything. Um, but it's it's thick. It's good. So this was the... The butternut squash. It's not sweet at all. At least for me, it doesn't taste sweet. But I had Harry put some salt in it for me and some butter. Because I haven't had any salt and I've been going to the bathroom like crazy and I'm worried about electrolytes. So anyway, folks, this is going to take a while to get down and um, because my throat is so sore um, and scratchy and dry and I got cotton mouth. So I'll see everybody right. later. Thank you, honey, for doing this for me. Yeah. I appreciate yeah. it. Mm -hmm. So I am trying kettle and fire broccoli cheddar soup with bone broth. And this one has a much better keto profile than the um, butternut squash soup did. This one actually has 27 grams of fat. 
it has a total carbohydrate of five grams, dietary fiber of two, so the net carbs are three with one gram of sugar. The, the second ingredient is organic cream. So everything in here looks organic. Organic cheddar cheese, organic uh, milk. Everything is organic and it really has clean ingredients. And actually, the butternut squash that I had last night was very intense bone broth with just a teeny bit of um, butternut squash. I am used to having butternut squash that's sweeter or curried and it just didn't have that butternut squash flavor to me. So let's try this one. This is the broccoli cheddar soup. So let me put that down here and get this. This is very cheddar cheesy looking. It's got a few teeny little uh, broccolis floating around in it, but you can't really see the broccolis. So let me try it, let me smell. Very cheesy smell. It smells just like cheddar cheese, you know? Cheddar cheese soupy. This one is very cheddar cheese with just a teeny weeny bit of broccoli. So it's more cheddar cheese than broccoli. Very creamy. Doesn't need salt. They've got their salt going on here. Yep. I like this one a lot better than the butternut squash. I think my expectations for the butternut squash was the old non-keto butternut squash plus the carbs in it um, were a lot higher. This is much more what I consider keto friendly because I'm on a total, well, before my surgery, total net car, total carb of 20 grams. So this one is a keeper. The challenge with the kettle and, and fire soup is they're expensive and you can make homemade soups. The challenge is I didn't make any homemade soups and I don't feel good. I'm, I'm recuperating from surgery, so if you're sick, you don't feel good, grab yourself a, a box of Kettle and Fire, folks. It's delicious. So uh, They are not sponsoring us in any way, shape, or form. I bought them because I wanted to have some soup instead of shakes and jello. So I've added them to my recovery keto diet. Bye for now. I'm gonna eat this. Mm. It's hot. Mm. Yep, it's good. Smoky, smoky cheddar cheese, don't you think? Yeah. The little little like bits of with like the little the bits of broccoli, yeah. Mm -hmm. I do too. I I like this much better than the plain butternut, but because I'm expecting real squashy. Had a good night last night, got to sleep. Um, this morning I woke up and I'm kind of queasy, so I just had a bulletproof coffee with uh, powdered perfect keto MCT oil and chocolate. I had some Biotrust collagen in my glass and then I put in a tablespoon of heavy whipping cream and whipped it all up. And it is 12.42, so I'm gonna try to have some soup. I'm do Today I'm doing the um, kettle and fire tomato soup. Nothing really tastes right to me, so I feel bad if I say they taste kind of funky. Um, so I'm gonna try to taste this right now. Let's see what it tastes like. It's very tomatoey, very. It's extremely tomatoey. I wish I had a little bit of basil in it because I like tomato basil soup. But it's good, it's filling, it's hearty, it's got bone broth in it. I don't know if you can see that. So I'm going to take my soup and go sit in my recliner and eat it. So. Hi everyone, so today is day four um, post-surgery and I wanted to have a little bit of soup. I'm not hungry, but I know I need to 
have something. So this is Kettle and Fire Spicy Cauliflower Soup with Chicken Bone Broth that I'm going to try. Um, we did buy a total of four different flavors of soups that I'm um, taste testing for everyone. Just so you know, Kettle and Fire has not sponsored us or anything. I just have seen a lot of ads for them and wanted to give them a try when I didn't feel like eating anything. Um, I think Whole Foods had them on sale for $5. They're normally $6.99, which is expensive, I know. But when your husband is not a cook and you just got through having surgery or sick or you have cold or the flu, I think they're a good deal to have if you can afford them. So this one is the uh, spicy cauliflower soup and it's got the best macros out of the four that I have tried. So let me try this. It doesn't smell cauliflowery. So this is the spicy cauliflower and normally I like spicy food. Um, so let's see. I don't want to burn myself. That is very spicy. Is it? Yeah, it is very spicy. I wasn't expecting Peppery. it to be spicy. Mm. Like red pepper. Uh huh. One thing I noticed about the four different keto soups that I've tried is you can really taste the bone broth part of this. The vegetables that they make it with, it, with the exception of the tomato soup, are very mild. It's a little thick, it's creamy. Creamy like, you know, cream of whatever flavor soup, cream of cauliflower. Doesn't need to be salted. It already has salts and they have really good ingredients to their products. They're all organic ingredients. Nothing I can't pronounce. So basically, the four that I've tried are the spicy cauliflower soup with the chicken bone broth. I think out of the four, this one was my favorite, but I like spicy. I like, now the, the other remaining flavors that I did not try were curry flavors, and sometimes curry can be too spicy, especially since part of my surgery was with my throat and my stomach, and there's, my throat is still kind of raw. This tomato soup was extreme tomato to me. Plain tomato, and you could taste the chicken bone broth. Um, I tend to like tomato basil soup, and I didn't have any basil in my cupboard or I would have doctored it with some. Um, very strong tomato. It's got okay macros, um, but it has a total of 11 sugars, so um, you gotta watch your carbs, and we'll post the uh, for each one of the soups um, we'll post their macros. It did not throw me out of ketosis. As a matter of fact, I woke up this morning and weighed myself and I weighed 180.6 pounds. So I've lost two pounds since my surgery. Um, the butternut squash is the one that I had first. And the butternut squash is not sweet at all. It's not the normal butternut squash type of soup that you normally get. Um, the chicken bone broth taste was very strong. It smelled strongly of the bone broth um, and had a teeny weeny butternut squash taste, but there's no nutmeg or cinnamon or any of the things that make a normal butternut squash a little bit sweeter. This one, I believe, has the most carbs in there. So you, if you're on really low uh, total carb count of 20, like I am, this one could throw you out because one cup is the serving, total carbs are 19, dietary fiber is three. It did not kick me out of ketosis, but I only had this and my protein shakes when I had this. So today I, let me get one more here, folks. This one is the broccoli cheddar soup. It looks and tastes the most like a smoky cheese soup. 
There were very few teeny pieces of broccoli in it. It was orange in color and it just tasted like I was eating a good smoky cheddar soup. There were very little pieces of broccoli in the actual soup. So all in all, I really like them. It's sad that they're very expensive and I understand, you know, they're using organic bone broth, they're using organic products in their soup, very clean, but for the size that you get, I would only use it on an occasion where I'm sick or I don't feel good or I just want something really light to eat. Um, and light by meaning I don't want something sitting heavy on my stomach. Um, they've been great for me. Um, didn't hurt my throat, didn't hurt my stomach, didn't make me queasy or anything after I ate them. I still have my little patch for queasiness where I had eggs yesterday. They made me kind of queasy. I had a little bit of ground hamburger. It made me a little queasy, but I had a bowl of the soup and it did not make me queasy. So all in all, I really like Kettle and Fire products. I haven't tried their plain bone broth because I like making my own homemade uh, chicken and beef bone broth in my Instapot. I just really like the flavor. But all in all, I think they taste really good. I think they do the trick. So I'm going to sit here and eat my spicy cauliflower. And I think once I get well, I'll get pick up some of the more spicy curried flavors that Kettle on Fire have and try those out as well. If you like what you see, please like, subscribe, ring that bell, and give me a thumbs up, folks. I really appreciate it. Bye.